Hi folks, welcome back to the horde. Look at this. Got the old green light on once again. Anybody wants to send me a sticker or anything, there you go. My uh my board of uh fame. Alright. What am I up to today? I've had a um Kubota tractor riding lawnmower for quite a while. A lot of you guys have seen it already. And it's been kind of not used. And the reason why it's not used is because the alternator went bad. And this thing has electric power steering. Kind of uses a linear drive type thing, I think. Or actually, there appears to be a motor sticking off it. Check it. Forget that. It has a... It has a, a motor that kind of drives things back and forth. It must be uh, rack and pinion with a motor assisting it. Anyway, um, and here it sits. For a while, what I would do is I'd run a cord out, and I'd just charge up the battery before I'd use it. And um, that worked. By the way, this is a three-cylinder diesel. A D722 and it's a TG1860 18 horsepower it says 60 inches it's actually 54 inches of mower deck um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna attempt to get this thing to start this is the fan this is the thing that goes in front of the fan that kind of keeps Keeps things from uh, wrecking it. Alright, so um, to do a cold start, I already checked it. It's full of oil and it's full of fuel. Um, gonna want to turn that on. Give it some throttle. Um, this is a diesel, so I want with extra battery. And oh, just to show you guys, it's got like 833 hours on it. I put about 100 hours on it. I, no, no, I put about 200 hours on it. I think I got it ahead about 650. All right, so it's got throttle. It's got all that stuff. You got to step on the brake to start this thing. You turn the key, and you hear that? That's the fuel pump. Then you turn it one position, see the extra light went on. How about a quick ride? The alternator's already dead. get this stuff out of the way so I don't run it over. Now it's turned. This is a hydrostatic.
Yeah, the power steering isn't working. I guess it's got no battery to it. I really want to use this thing to cut the grass at least once this year, maybe twice, because I want to get fresh diesel fuel into it. Um, it's not good to let the diesel fuel sit for a long, long time unused. And this thing, I don't know, probably got five years ago or so. Maybe longer. I might have had this thing for 10 years. I paid some pretty good money for it. I think I paid over two grand. So, um, I've spoken to folks at the uh, local Kubota dealer, which is out in Pine Bush, um, Pine Bush Equipment. And they said this was a, um, a great tractor. But a lot of people just didn't buy it because it was just way too expensive back in its day. It, um, the guy I got it from was young, like 30, like my son's age. And he had a big piece of property out in Newburgh, New York with his parents' house on it. And I think, I think they were using it as a rental. Because the house I went to, I always look up people before I buy things. This was a Craigslist deal that didn't sell, and he and I got in touch afterwards. Yeah, this is the one thing about it, it's kind of wide. Anyway, we got in touch after the deal, and he told me who he was, his name and address and all. And because I was going over there with cash, I don't know, will the blades engage? No, the blades won't even engage. I don't have enough battery. And I don't have enough battery to turn it off. You actually have to engage a relay to shut it down. I gotta go get the uh, the jump pack. I gotta put power to it to shut it down. There's actually a relay that um, energizes, that shuts the fuel off to the pump. And then obviously no fuel, diesel shuts off. You don't need spark, so you don't have to fool around with that. Yeah, I wanna get this thing um, running and probably get an oil change into it also. I'll get it, get it in good shape. There's no use owning it if I'm not going to take decent care of it. A lot of folks say, you got such a nice machine. Why don't you um, just use that to cut the grass and forget all the other junk? It is um, it is a nice machine, but it's boring. Um, uh, I, just, I just keep my foot slammed all the way to the floor basically and uh, and it cuts you got power steering so you spin the steering wheel with one hand it's so wide that there's a lot of places it can't go so I you know literally it's just back and forth and back and forth the MTD is narrower or the Murray made by MTD is narrower so with that, I can actually squeeze it between more things, and uh, it's a little more interesting to ride around on. And
there you go yeah it takes power to shut it down I was looking around the garage I also found the alternator that should be put into this thing so I'm going to do that right. there you go brandy new smash that right on there and then we uh, we got it all set up okay so the old Kubota TG1860 with a D Seven twenty two engine. It is handy because it's got all the everything you need to do all the time. But uh, generally speaking, it really, really hasn't needed much. Um, it, it as long as there's enough battery, the thing always seems to start. Um, one of the tires, this one had a tendency to go flat. I slimed it. It's been good since. This thing hasn't been out in a long, long time. So. It's amazing that all the tires are still up. I should probably get the air cleaner off, clean it all up. And all. All right, folks, I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your head up, and please, please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks. Bye.